Hey guys, it's Andrew Murray here, and I know a lot about marketing, but this little presentation really isn't about me. It's designed to help business owners and salespeople generate more leads. So here's the core of business. It's pretty simple. You know, your net profit is your gross profit minus your expenses. Now, here's the question. Would your business make more profit if you generated more leads while spending less time on marketing? How would you like that to happen in your business? Well, who's going to benefit from this info? I'm going to show you how to do that. First off, local business owners who want more profits in their business or want more free time. Business owners with under five employees in particular is who I specialize in. Local salespeople, so people that are in real estate, insurance sales, pharmaceutical reps, you know, anything that's self-directed sales, and anyone who wants more leads. Now, here's a business owner paradox. Great book if you're a business owner is to read The E-Myth. It's a fantastic book. Okay, Most business owners get into business because they either love or are very good at what they do. Okay, So let's take the, the issue of someone who you know has a cake shop. Okay, They get into that business because they like baking, they like making cakes. Now, running a business requires an entirely new set of skills. You need to learn marketing, you need to learn bookkeeping, you need to learn you know, how to write off expenses, systemizing, hiring, scaling up. And those are all things that are not part of the original um, you know, idea behind the business for most people. Now there's also a salesperson paradox and that's because I've been working with salespeople for over 12 years. Typically people who are really good at sales, building rapport, closing, connecting, they seem to be extremely poor at lead generation, particularly lead generation on the internet. But if they have good leads, they can shoot to the top of their peer group and you know win all the sales awards in their in their division, and that's what I help people do um, because you know the salespeople skills you know if you can learn the, if you can master the marketing side it's extremely powerful for a salesperson to do that. Now here I am talking at the No Excuses Summit. This is the uh, the number one you know marketing event in the in the home business industry, and I was uh, one of the one of the keynote speakers. Um, you know, at this event, and just so you know a little bit about me, um, I'm really big on family. That's my son there. I've created my own products. I've been doing marketing since 2002. I've actually created thousands of websites and blogs since 2004. I've won the number one sales awards, and I've been an international stage speaker, uh, speaking on on marketing and uh, you know Facebook, and I think like an entrepreneur. So I have the technical aspects of how to do the marketing and also the sales side, which is very dynamic and very powerful. And that's why I can help a lot of businesses and a lot of salespeople increase their profits. Now, there's a tremendous amount of waste in your marketing budget right now. And if you really looked at what you spend on marketing and what you spend in your business, I could go into your business and I could see all these places where you're wasting your money and you're not getting a good return on investment because I understand how to, how to look at that stuff. But you want to understand that you know the whole dynamic of your business is changing, and you have to understand this. First off, prospects are searching differently. There's more people that are searching online, so less people are, are searching yellow pages or that kind of thing, and they're going online. So if you're not leveraging online properly, you're going to be missing out, and the way that online works is it kind of gravitates towards the people that are in your local area that are at the top and they start getting tons and tons of traffic and it's really easy for me to, to break in there whether through SEO or paid marketing or you know whatever the case may be. The other point to recognize is that technology really allows for better targeting. You know, um, you could advertise in let's say a trade magazine 10 years ago and it would be, you know, that would be considered fairly targeted now you can really go after the demographic. If you find that you know it's mostly women that buy your products, just market just to women. If you find that there's certain age groups like under 30 that don't buy your products, don't market to them. You know, same with the the, the top of the market. Same with what you know people uh, people like. So there's all kinds of demographics, and understanding the demographics allows you to pay less for your marketing and still get the same amount of results. So as I see it, there's four main marketing channels. Obviously, referrals, um, you're probably doing that already. Um, organic SEO optimization, that's not what this is about, but you know we certainly can, can do that for local business owners. Um, 
and then targeted online marketing. This is a huge, huge marketplace right now because you know if someone is looking for information about a product and they're making a buying decision or they're looking who to hire, the number one place that they're going is online. And this is even happening in older demographics as well. And then there's the, the yellow pages, which, um, in, you know, in my opinion, is, is becoming uh, antiquated. So Peter Drucker, um, one of my sales, uh, or one of my uh, marketing heroes, I guess you could say, talked about sales versus marketing. And what this is, is basically he said that the aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well that the product or service fits him and sells itself. Well, that can happen online because of, you know, those demographics. But I want to point out that, that there's a real shift going on in, in the entire economy from sales over to marketing. So 10 years ago, the people with really good sales skills, you know, they got the order, um, they were able to build their business quicker, you know, because they pick up the phone and, and call and all that sorts of thing. Now the balance has totally shifted towards marketing. So, you know, if you don't understand marketing, if you're not leveraging marketing in your business, you're definitely going to be losing out and, you know, you're, you're, you're losing money because that's the way that the people are, are uh, searching, you know, for information online. Uh, you know, you could also say uh, periodical readership is falling. So newspaper readership is drop is dropping. People don't really have time for trade magazines or, or magazines or newspapers. They're spending that time on their smartphone. And you can actually target them when they're ready to make a decision. But, you know, honestly, that's the way that, that, that things are, are happening now. People will get a free second. They'll flip open the search and they'll search for a business and, you know, even, even just to look up the number. Of, of a business, you know, to, to use a web for something real simple like that. They're using their, their phone. The Yellow Pages is becoming a dinosaur. I mean, they have uh, dumpsters just for, just for phone books, um, you know, and people really aren't using this because it's, it's redundant. The same information is online and it's often more accessible. And that's not to say people don't use the Yellow Pages at all, but, you know, they are becoming more and more of a relic. And from my perspective, I would not want to build a business knowing that its future depended on advertising in the yellow pages because, you know, the, the demographics and the, and the statistics are in, you know, it's not growing. It's, it's uh, retracting very, very quickly. There's no stability and there's no growth in the, in the yellow pages. Okay. So it's not going to grow. It's not going to get a wider market. You know, the yellow pages have been criticized by uh, McLean's magazine for, you know, going after the wrong business model and, and not going online faster. Um, the internet, what's nice about that is it targets your prospects at the right time, okay? And the yellow pages is defunct among younger people and it's dying among older people as they start to use the internet more as well. So as you can see in this first chart, search engine land, um, you know, the yellow pages, and this only goes, goes up to 2010, but you can see that, you know, in terms of the billions, it's on a, a sharp decline. Uh, the amount of pages is dropping, uh, again, very significantly. And, you know, you can search online. This, this comment is from uh, March 27th, uh, 2013. Basically he's saying, and I, I could just find tons and tons of these, but our firm dropped print yellow page ads two years ago and have seen absolutely no decline in incoming calls Print yellow page ads are a thing of the past and will only continue to decline. I imagine the folks that still use yellow pages are the same folks that still carry a checkbook to the grocery store to buy their groceries. So that's a business owner um, talking about the, the yellow page. Yes. So here's the, here's the bottom line. As less people use the yellow pages as a primary tool, which is undeniably happening, the value of your ad decreases. You know, and So if you're still paying the same amount... Um, you're paying more and more for less and less of a result. And I want you to, to know, I mean, most business owners probably don't have these numbers. Um, they can be tracked, you know, but question, how many leads do you get from your Yellow Pages ads? And how much are you paying per lead? And hopefully you can, uh, you can answer that for your own personal business. Here's a case study from uh, Drink More Water. And uh, this was over a three-year period. And you can see that even back, back here in 2007, the number of calls was dropping precipitously. And this was, this was a company that actually spanned uh, yellow pages in, in several areas because it was near 
um, you know, D.C., Virginia, you know, where all those, all those states uh, congregate. And at the same time, the cost per call, okay, that they were measuring uh, was continuing to, to rise. So it just didn't make sense anymore. Um, here's some st statistics. Uh, senior citizens, the new Facebook user, the percentage of U.S. seniors using Facebook is growing fast. Now 11% of seniors are using uh, Facebook. And, you know, it's that's people that are over 65, right? Um, under 65, the demographics are really, really huge. There's 206 million internet users in the U.S. 71% is on Facebook. Okay, so 71% of, of people in the U.S. Are, are on Facebook. They have a Facebook account. So it's a great way to target people. Now, we can get you better real-time and exclusive leads. That's what we do. Here's what people don't understand about Facebook. doesn't matter if you want to look at, at pictures of, um, you know, cute cats or, you know, argue about politics or, you know, whatever people do on their Facebook accounts. That's all a distraction. For you as a business owner, I'm talking to you, you don't need to, to use a profile um, to leverage Facebook. You don't need to post an update and get people to respond to your posts. No, you can just use it as a marketing platform because Facebook's competitive advantage is their user data, okay? And I know how to use data to get cheaper leads. So when you, when, when you combine my knowledge and you know, your marketing on Facebook, what that's going to do is get you better leads, it's going to get you more leads, and it's going to get you leads from a, uh, a platform that's growing significantly. And, you know, if you look at, I don't know if you, if you study uh, the statistics, but people that get on Facebook, they start spending a lot of time on Facebook. So it's a captive audience, and they're going to see your ads. You know, no one sits down on their couch and starts opening up the yellow pages and starts flipping around. So it's, it, it's really good at driving uh, a lot of businesses where people might, might not have a, 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 a dire need. Like for example, you know, your furnace breaks, you're going to open the yellow pages and look at, you know, furnace repair or whatever. Um, so this, you can do that same thing, but you know, works for other, other types of businesses as well. Very, very well. This is rapleaf.com. This is one of my uh, personal lists that I generated on, uh, on marketing. And you can see that it breaks down the gender, the age, you know, the income, uh, what percentage of, 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 the, of the individuals are high net worth. So all these are targeting factors. And that's what I mean that you can use data to target and get better leads. And that's what I want to do for your business to help it expand. And how we do that is cheap, effective Facebook ads. Okay, those are those ads on the right-hand side. So again, I don't care about what goes on in, in the profile. You don't, you don't even need to use your profile. We can still run ads for you and, you know, get very targeted uh, prospects and buyers for your products and, and your service. So Facebook ads, the key to Facebook, again, is demographics. They have a huge user base. Now, these ads work a little differently. You pay only when your ad is clicked, okay? So that means if your ad says, you know, hey, is your furnace broken? You know, click here for a free quote. You're only going to pay if someone clicks on that ad. So you're going to get higher quality leads. Um, I am to spend about a dollar to five dollars per extremely targeted lead in my own business. Um, I know that you know a lot of businesses, uh, you know, will pay thirty, forty, sixty, eighty, you know, over a hundred dollars per lead, depending on on your business model and how much each customer is worth to you. So, you know, we can definitely decrease the cost from that uh, very significantly and increase the quality. And this can also make your business more scalable, right? So if, you're, if your business is already churning along at a pretty good pace, maybe you're a realtor and you're doing you know, really well, but you want to you know, take it to the next level, we can help you do that. Now, Facebook ads, they work for local businesses. They work for specialized niche businesses. Uh, they work for, for general businesses. Works for businesses that otherwise have hard to reach uh, demographics where you know there is no kind of trade publication or or, or easy way to, to kind of reach your prospects um, you know it works for, for just about everything here's what the Facebook platform uh, looks like it is very complicated you're not gonna have to worry about any of that because again that's not your core strength in your business you should always be focusing on your core competencies of your business in order to make it grow so we do a Facebook custom management 
Um, the key to lead, lead generation is to be highly targeted and you will get cheaper leads when you filter out your non-core audience. That's what I know how to do. I'll, I'll look at your business, you know, talk to you, uh, figure out what your what your uh, uh, main main customer is, and then you know help get you in front of more of those people and write a persuasive ad. You know, which again, copywriting is not something that, that business owners really understand, and you have to if you want to run good good marketing. Marketing is really one of the nuances. You know, it's those little things that you know, you would have to spend all your time focusing on instead of, you know, the core strategies that you need to do to run your business. And we know how to do Facebook to win. So basically our Facebook management works like this. You use targeting, um, you know, the, the data that we can get from, from you and your customers and then, you know, using Facebook's filters and my skills to reduce your overall advertising spend. Uh, we want to reduce your advertising budget waste. We want to increase the quality of your leads and we want to increase the quantity of your leads. And we can focus more on one of those two, uh, depending on you know what your what your goals are for your business. Again, we do not need access to your personal profile. You don't even need to participate in anything on Facebook. Uh, people won't see anything that you're doing. You only pay when when targeted prospects click your ad. Let me say that again. You only pay when targeted prospects click your ad. Um, now. I live in Nova Scotia, Canada, but we can work anywhere in Canada or the U.S. Um, that's Nova Scotia, that little uh, little thing on the East Coast there that's in red. And we only take on one local business client uh, or one, lo one local client per business type, right? So in a given market, we'll only work with one realtor. We'll only work with one insurance agent. We'll only work with, with one, um, you know, hardware store and so on and so on and so on, okay? But I want you to imagine getting more leads, more leads than you can even handle. I want you to imagine getting more sales coming into your business. And I want you to let me help you increase your net profits in your business. And we're also gonna do one more thing. We're gonna help you get more free time out of your business because you're gonna let me do the marketing and I'm gonna do a better job. So what I don't want you to do is make a decision one way or the other. We just have a maybe form and uh, you want to complete the maybe form, which is at andrewmurrayhq.com forward slash leads. So at this presentation, there should be a button below here. We'll, it will link right over to there. You can click on that now, go there now, um, because this is, this is the end of the presentation. And I want you to complete the maybe form and tell me, maybe, maybe I'm interested. You know, I want to find out more information about it. What's going to happen is you're going to fill out the form. I'm gonna call you and uh, then me or, or one of my business uh, uh, business partners, we're gonna call you, you know, go through your business, see if it's a fit. You know, if it is a fit, then we can move forward. If it's not a fit, I'm gonna tell you that or if you're uncomfortable for whatever reason, then, you know, we just won't continue. So it's a maybe form. There's nothing to, to lose except the potential profits you could be gaining in your business. So go to andrewmurrayhq.com forward slash leads and I look forward to talking with you soon.